Hello, my name is Gerd Snail, and welcome to a much more exciting video than last time, but generally the same concept. So, um, in the video I posted yesterday, the longer one, not the like three minute one shown how to get into a law sector, um, I showed you how to get into the Technocrats Iron, or behind that, to the little factory area, and that was very disappointing, so, um, I went out there again today with uh, with Froggy so that he could test out his uh, sword flying theory stuff. Doing like advanced sword flying technique where like using the height cap of catapult lift to do crazy stuff. Kind of went, kind of goes over my head a little bit in terms of how you fully pull it off. Like I understand the concept of it, but I don't know, man. I don't know. But, uh, I guess that goes to show that I still have much to learn. But, um, yeah. So, we did a little bit of exploring later. Uh, a few other people joined, like, uh, yeah, it was just a little crowd in the Raid Secrets channel. But, uh, today we're going out to Kells Rising, which is the other little section in that map. So, uh, yeah. Just need to get there first. Um, and trust me, it is going to be a lot less disappointing than the Technocrats Iron was, because there's actual stuff here, and it's really cool. So uh, first off, we're going to use this hole here that uh, JB3 told me specifically not to say that he found, because somebody has probably found it before. And we're going to use it just to uh, hit up here. You do a little bit of climbing around the edge of it. And, uh, yeah. It's a little bit easier than what we were doing before, which is, like, jumping on top of the roof of the building in Technocrats and then making our way back there. Just because of the load zone. It's a bit tricky in the corner there. But we're going to head over this way. And we're going to go this way. And then on this corner is where the load zone is. So just like that, you can hit it right in the corner. Um, you might have to like slide around a bit, but you can get it. So now we're going to just head this way. And I'm going to use a bit of stasis climbing to get a little bit higher up on the structure so that we head in, we got a little bit of height. So, um, if you don't know this technique, you need 100 discipline. And what you do is that you just kind of shoot the crystals to keep your improved ability regen up. And that allows you to have, essentially, infinite stasis walls. Which, in of itself, is a little bit broken, but... Uh, it's really great for glitching. Here we go. Nades are gonna disappear, and we can go up a little. Yeah. So, uh, I think we're high enough here. Now we're gonna just head inside to what I call the, uh, the Destiny Plinko room. Or the Plinko hallway, because it looks like a big old Plinko board. Um, be careful about this one, because there's a turn back. Uh, the map is right over there, so we're actually pretty close. Um, now you just want to... Throw a nice little stasis nade. Do some more uh, breakage. Can we make it up? Oh, no. Okay. Might have just messed it up here, but. Nope, I can get another one. And there we go. Now we're up. And we don't need any more stasis nades. So. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to casually fly through the wall. Over here though, because the wall is solid. There we go. And just keep flying in your direction, because the fog should go away momentarily. I hope. 
Ah, here we are. Or not. Hello, game? Can we... There we go, okay. And here we are inside the map. This is... I, I love this area. Hang on, I'm gonna hop down here. Uh, Yeah, we'll return to the water later, but... Down here is where I started, and oh my god, it's... Yeah, it... I love this area. Just something about it. It's just amazing. I mean... The other interesting thing is that these are still, like, eventide buildings inside here. So, like, I don't know if it's, like, within the lore sake that, um, the Fallen just built on the corpse of the eventide, like, buildings, or what's up with that, but... Is that a pushy? Yeah, okay. It is a little bit disorienting out here, but we, we make do. Uh, I guess I can climb the corner of this building with stasis. Wow. But I mean, already you can see that this area is cooler than Technocrat. Oh, come on. Uh, I can stasis climb actually with the super. There we go. It's a little bit easier to climb with the super because of those consistent stasis crystals. And let me throw a thing in between. If I was smart, I would break those crystals, but I'm not smart, so we aren't. And we're back into this part again, so. There is actually a lot to explore here. But, um... One thing to note is that there are turnbacks everywhere. And there are death barriers everywhere else, so. We're pretty much limited to the ground level here, so. We fall below the water. We're gonna hit a turn back here, somewhere around here. Uh, must be up ahead. That's the height barrier. So if you see a turn back, that means that you're close to the uh, death barrier that's slightly above it. Who knows why they layered it like that? Uh, you can just use your uh, stasis melee to get out. By the way. We're using stasis, which is weird for my channel because I almost always use uh, Thunder Crash. But uh, yeah, I don't know how much how much else you can explore out here, but there's a lot to see, and it's really cool. Like I like this fog. Also, the fact that my character de-renders so easily, so you can take some nice screenshots. Oh, hey, we can jump above the water over here. Meaning that we can jump on top of these buildings. Oh, no, we can't. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> yeah, there's a, the, there's a big old death barrier around, so you can't really do too much exploration in terms of, like, vertical space, unfortunately. This is not the same layer, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think there isn't too much else to show on this front, so now let's just make our way back to the Plinko. And if you haven't figured out why I'm calling it the Plinko area, uh, you will soon, because there's a nice little angle that I'll show you. But, wow. This is honestly what I think old Chicago is going to look like. Just big, towering old buildings. Very climbable, hopefully, from a glitching perspective, at least. Or in-game, too. Oh, I found a death barrier. Yay. It's going to put me on the other side, isn't it? Yep, okay. 
I don't think I can get around this death barrier without, without my melee, so I guess we get to wait here. Do I have strength? I feel like I've got a strength armor. Do I have a strength helmet? Yeah, this one will give me some more strength. No, I have a strength chest piece, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you get to see my very uh, unorganized inventory here. But without reach, I should be able to get it. Yep. And then let's put on grenades again, because grenades are better. Yeah, I've been using these ones. Okay. Don't worry about my uh, decision making with those chess pieces. <laughs> I'm definitely okay. Alright, and now we can make our way back up. Oh yeah, so something I forgot to mention yesterday is that I was featured in a Cheese Forever video. Or at least my glitch was. I, that was the Saber Strike Cheese from like half a week ago, something like that, a few days. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, although, I'm not sure how much I respect blatant channel ripping, but you know, I... I do like the fact that the word got out there, so... I don't know. It's sort of like paying an artist with exposure. Okay. Here we go, now we're back to the Plinko board. And our goal is to now climb up, so I think... The first move is to, uh... Blindly jump over here, put down stasis, and pray that I don't fall through like that! No! <laughs> Yeah, you know, let's get our stasis nade back here. Actually, no, it's more important to die. I can't die on that surface? Can I die on this surface? Yes, I can. You get to see the floating corpse. Uh, this is disorienting. Hello? Where's the map? Okay, there we go. Now I know I am. I uh, still love this place. Be careful about going too far that way, because the map's over there, so... It's something to watch out for. By the way, I highly recommend you explore out here. It's fairly accessible and, uh... Very, very fun. Ah! Okay, so... There we go, now we're in bounds. And back to the... Plinko poles from before. So... Stasis need up. Break the crystals. Break some more, the man top because why not? There's no rules anymore. Find the random death barrier and respawn hopefully on the plinko pole. Or the random structure from before and wasting all my sword ammo. Let's go. I have to be con I have to be conscious of how much I use actually. I bet if I Okay. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if my voice sounds a little bit different, that's because I recorded something that was very long and very voice intensive, and uh, you don't get to see it just yet.
Alright. Great. Oh, I almost did the gamer. Oh my god. By the way, if you can't tell, I'm working on uh, not talking every five like milliseconds per video. I'm already instinctively wanting to talk again, but you know, yeah. Okay, now we can start making our way over. Please, no. Uh, this is why I hate working with stasis. Brings the worst out in you. And I'm not even a canonical destiny character. I'm shooting those and I'm still dying cuz oh my god I hate this pillar so much at least I spawn here though nope I should really jump cut man I really should I don't want to though cuz that requires editing and everybody knows I hate editing but at least you get the genuine experience and that's what my channel is about. Ah, lovely. I don't even know if I have enough sword ammo to get over, in all honesty. That's better. Hey, now we're gaming. No, we're not. 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 We're safe. Here we go, making our way to the blinding light. This is where the YouTube compression algorithm really has some fun. Yep. <laughs> our remaining sword swipes. In theory you'd get it better than I do. And here we go. We're out on this side of the map so that's where the map is. And this is where we are. And it's great. 
you could actually do a lot of exploring on these buildings and stuff. Um, the, the three of us that were out here, we had a hard time actually because uh, the snow layers here are deceptive. They deceive you. Because um, there's like so many berries. Wait a second. I am... Hmm. I had never hit that barrier before. What kind of magic is this? There we go. But... If the, uh... Huh. If the game would actually let me, like, play... What is happening? Why am I getting these random berries I've never seen before? I guess I'll make my way back up. This video went so wrong, yet I just want to get it recorded, so... Yeah. I mean, I also have to do some extra exporting work today because uh, my videos are doing some weird stuff. Fallen out of the map, but while I'm here, you get to see the Plinko board. Or the Plinko wall, whatever you want to call it. It's Plinko! See, with all the pegs, and you drop the person down. Yeah, who knows, man. There's a circle at the bottom of the world. You still don't know what that is about. And now I'm stuck down here, but you know what? There's a lot to explore, and uh, I'm going to use the uh, the MacGuffin of... Uh, I'll, let the, I'll let you explore the rest of this. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry that this was a little bit more drawn out than I was hoping. But, um, yeah, it's mostly because I'm... I'm very tired. I recorded something that was way too long in one take, and my throat is suffering. But I wanted to get this out because this is so cool, and you, I really, really recommend you try it out. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, pretend there's a nice outro.